This is so sinister, I really feel bad for posting this. Ah. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and uh, today's showcase is gonna be a bit of a hmm, difficult one because, uh, well, I'm just gonna show you and you'll decide why it's difficult or not. So, would you like to use my phone? Yeah? There you go. Now, you probably missed all of this because nothing actually happened on the screen and uh, that's the point. Uh, recently I've been playing with the fingerprint sensors and uh, other stuff and I wanted to toggle um, auto input. Then using auto tool would, I discovered you can actually disable and enable apps. And what I actually did in here when I offered my phone I scanned my fingerprint, and which promptly disabled a lot of apps on my phone, leaving you with a kind of bare-bone experience and no access to my private messages, my messenger, photos, etc. And uh, it started as a legit idea when sometimes someone wants to use my phone in office because for whatever reason, uh, and you always get that hesitating feeling of like, well, you know, your latest picture of elbow or something is there and you don't want your work colleagues to see it. And uh, playing with the fingerprint sensor, I discovered that you can actually trigger all of this without having anything on your desktop indicating uh, that you've pressed on something or um, any notifications at all that something happened. And this is the sinister part of it where you can actually hide your naughty stuff from your phone while handing over the device to someone else. And if that's your partner, then that's the controversial bit. So I'm not endorsing the second use, but the first one is the most legit use. I, I could, well, that was the original use really. And uh, I guess I'm gonna walk you through the first uh, step as well. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, uh, I guess let's get started. Let's start with a little bit of a better showcase, shall we? So and you can see in the middle of my screen, I have a photos app. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable this app and uh, show you some notifications so we'd see what's going on. So I've got shortcut to my task. When I press it, what's gonna happen? Task is gonna hide it, disable it, and enable the notification uh, that everything has been completed correctly. Now, if I'm gonna scroll through my apps, you'll see that the photos, uh, it's gone. It's nowhere to be found. Now, bear in mind, this is not going to hide your pictures. It's gonna be just freezing your application. So you can still access the pictures through like a Solid Explorer or, or the File Explorer or even a camera app. Uh, but you can hide folders as well in different ways. We're talking about freezing apps. Uh, another um, notification in here, and uh, if you're going to freeze the phone messaging apps like uh, text messages, the text messages will go through. Uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, however, if you're gonna freeze like a Facebook Messenger or something, uh, then these notifications are not going to go through until uh, the notification the um, app has been enabled again. So as you can see, that uh, I've got a notification here. That this is right now fro. Go go away. That this is right now uh, enabled. Uh, so you could see everything. Now let's uh, disable this uh, again. So the notification is gonna go away. It's completed and now in my apps folders, I'm gonna see the photos again. You just put it on the screen back again. If, you, if you've if you noticed, uh, you won't be able to restore the shortcut from your home screen. So if you've got some elaborate folders as well, bear that in mind that it will remove the apps from the folders. Now, this is the obvious way where everything is visible. I have a hide apps uh, icon on desktop. I have notifications, but this, there is a sinister way because I've been playing with a fingerprint sensor and I figured out like, oh, you could use a fingerprint sensor on the home screen to actually do it and not leave a trace. So you're not going to see me doing anything. I'm just going to tell you when I'm touching the fingerprint sensor so you would see how it works. But yeah, if you don't have uh, this uh, icon even on the home screen, you wouldn't be able to tell that something happened on the phone. So I'm touching the fingerprint sensor right now. And it's done. It, it's enabled. There is no notifications whatsoever. So this is the kind of like more sinister way of doing it. Right. So let's uh, jump into the tasker now and let's see how it works. Let me just enable this again. 
Now, if you see, I have two profiles. There's a Hydaps and uh, a Fermate. I <laughs> didn't know how to name it. So we're gonna take a look at a Fermate because you only have the crucial action and this is only one action. I'm using Outer Tools root. So root is required for this. What you have to do is just to go to the Outer Tools root settings, open it. And then first you have to run Outer Tools enable root because I'll prompt you for the root access. And then what you go for is enable disable apps. Uh, now I'm using a toggle behavior, so I don't have to create second profile for enabling and disabling, but you can do it with enable and disable instead. And then just select the apps from here. Once you're done, save everything and you you basically don't know. This profile uses a fingerprint sensor, so it's linked to actual uh, profile. Uh, it's linked to the pixel launcher, so I have to be on my home screen. And it linked to the fingerprint scanner, a profile I've made early on. I'm going to link it for you so you would understand how it works. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. Basically, the second is just a shortcut to a task. And this task is a little bit more elaborate because I'm showing the old notifications on your home screen so you would know how it, how it works and where it works. So first of all, I just get some bit of a haptic feedback, 100 milliseconds on, 100 milliseconds on, just to give you a bit of a feedback that this is uh, um, this is working. Now, second is exactly the same Auto Tools root add-on settings, so I don't have to go through that. Now, I have a variable in here which counts to zero and one, so wraps around two, and uh, basically app count will have two states. It's either zero or one. In default state, when no apps are frozen, if you go to variable, the variable is gonna be zero. So what's going to happen next when there is no apps frozen, it's going to freeze the apps and change this by adding value one. So it's going to be app count one. So it will enable notify. So this is the notification in here that's uh, going to be enabled as the app count is one. And then on the next pass, we'll do the same. We'll wrap around the two. The app count is going to be zero. So uh, it will just cancel this notification. And when everything is done, I'm just going to get this toast saying it is done. So it's uh, literally that simple. So uh, yeah, all you have to do after creating this app is just you have to manually set the variable. So you have to go to the variable task, app count and set it to zero if uh, your profile has not been enabled yet. And then we'll synchronize the variable with the state of the um, apps being frozen or not. And I really hope you're gonna go for the office scenario by the way, but who am I to judge? Anyway, now you know how to disable and enable apps on your phone, which can be useful if you want to just, uh, you know, freeze all the notifications and get them later, etc. Especially if you have a work phone and a phone, uh, private phone to be the same phone, you can just, uh, with a press of a button, disable everything related to work and have a weekend off. So, if you're interested, obviously a written tutorial is down in the description. You can access it, download the files, etc. If you're interested in more videos, just subscribe to my channel, click the notification if you want to get notif notified, or just follow me on social media because uh, whenever I post something, obviously it goes on the social media and say like, look guys, I've got a new video. So, thanks so much for watching, thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, without you I'll be probably very, very behind with everything, and uh, I guess I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care.